Hey everyone, it's Kimmy the G. Um, it is Wednesday, June 9th, and I just thought I'd hop on real quick and do a quick video for you all. I hope everybody is doing well. It is flipping hot outside. It is almost 90 degrees, and I just came out to the park to um, enjoy the weather. Um, I was going to get outside, but it, it's just too hot. Um, so I just thought I'd just sit out here and enjoy my thoughts. I hope you guys all are doing some self-care today. I got up this morning and took my bath, did my meditation, um, and just thought about the thoughts and the things that I want to bring in for today before I went to my doctor's appointment um, and things like that. So um, I just thought I'd get on and share some thoughts with you all. Um, I hope you guys are all writing down your dreams and goals and what you want to bring in um, for yourselves and what you want God to bless you with coming up here. Um, I just thought I would get on and encourage you guys all to just really think about what you want coming into your lives here and things like that. And um, what you what you want in the future, where you see yourself going and things like that. Um, I really don't know what, where my life is going right now, but I just, I, th I see all good things coming for myself in the future. All good things. Keep your mindset positive. It's all about where your mindset is, and mindfulness is really key um, when, we, when you're thinking about uh, where your mindset is um, and things like that. <laughs> I was just looking at these these squirrels out here they were just playing and frolicking and stuff like that and always keep um things just be light-hearted like these squirrels out here they were just like three of them just chasing each other and I was cracking up I love watching nature and watching animals and my dad always had us watching National Geographic stuff and he loves watching um what were they lemurs is that what they were lemurs or um, the, ground, the little ground squirrels. Are they lemurs? That be in the ground? Um, that live under the ground? No, lemurs are in the trees. I forget what they are, but they're the little um, ones that live underneath the ground. Um, I think they have them on Netflix. They follow them. But you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys ever watch... Uh, the little things on Netflix about the animals and stuff that are around the world. Yeah, they be on the ground and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> I just love watching nature and animals. They just have personalities like people. They're hilarious. We just kind of need to have that mindset when we go through life. Like, make it like a, a game, like play. Don't take things so seriously all the time. Like, of course, there's times when we need to be serious. And we know how to differentiate those times, but um, we also need to, like, relax sometimes. Just chill out and relax and enjoy that moment as well and just take it in. Um, even when you're on vacation, you know, there are things that we want to, we want to get this done and we want to get that done or just day to day. We want to get everything done, but learn to enjoy the moment. Live in the moment, you know. Um, I had went on vacation with someone. Look at this bird right here. You see that bird, y'all? You see them? <laughs> Look. Yes, she's foraging for food, but she's enjoying the moment. They're enjoying the moment at the, at the same doggone time. Um, anyways. <laughs> like, just, it, we were on vacation with this friend. I was on vacation with a friend one time. And yes, we wanted to go here and there and stuff like that. But this friend was like rushing like I didn't rush you when you was getting ready don't rush me when I'm getting ready like are you almost done they kept saying are you almost done how much longer are you gonna be how much longer are you gonna be and then we were like we had to stop at this place this person had to stop at this place to get this I let them get their stuff then I had but I had to go here to get this you know so that I can enjoy my day while we're out but this friend was rushing me to get this stuff like I couldn't even like take my time going through to get what I needed to get but I didn't rush this friend to get what they needed to get so I was like you just need to chill I, I couldn't even enjoy the vacation 
Because everything we did, this friend was rushing, 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 rushing. And I was like, you just need to chill. Like, it, it just ruined the vacation for me, honestly. And I just knew, you know, I knew at that moment that I could not go on a vacation ever again. This was the first time I had went on that vacation with this friend. And the last time that I was going to go on a vacation with this, let's say, friend. <laughs> That's no longer a friend anymore, by the way. Um, well, say an associate now. Um, somebody that I used to know. Um, yeah, I can't go on a vacation with that person ever again. Because, like, that just was so not enjoyable. Because everything we did was a rush. We couldn't even, like, enjoy the moment and just soak it in. Because we were rushing through everything. It should never be like that, guys. It should never be a rushing. Just just live in the moment and just soak it in. So, yeah, just that's, that's the lesson. Just play. Play is the lesson. Play. But anyways, um, moving on to the next thing I wanted to talk about is um, I am a Cancerian. Yes, I am. And it's almost our season. And if you guys have not ever looked up your birth chart, go get your birth certificate out. Um, there's free websites. I may post the website I used. Um, I had to go ask my mom where my birth, like what time I was born. But I actually had to go and get my birth certificate out to like find find the time you were born. And you know, ever since then, you know, I've went. I I shared it with a couple of my doctors. They went and looked up their birth charts. And they're like, oh my God, it taught me so much about myself. Thank you so much, Kim. It, and I like even, I printed mine off. I printed my husband's off and I put it next to each other. And I was like, oh my goodness. You know, one of my doctors said, uh, you know, I was like, you, you guys are like the perfect couple. You guys are supposed to breed money. And they're like, oh, that's funny you said that. I was like, I hope so. I hope you're right about that. And I was like, I was like. Your your kid is supposed to be a money maker. I was like, you're gonna raise you're gonna raise a genius. And she's like, that's so funny that you said that. My son um loves cars and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> your son's gonna be an engineer. <laughs> He's gonna be an engineer. He's gonna like make something amazing, an, an amazing car, like something amazing. And she's like, he loves cars, just like you just said. I was like, he's going to bring you back, um, like some amazing car. And she's like, that's exactly what he, he, he loves cars, Kim. You just, you just said it. You said it. I was like, watch, he's going to bring you back like an Audi or something, something like that. He's going to invent something. You guys are just supposed to, her husband's a cancer like me. And I think she's a, a Capricorn. Yeah. Like my parents. <laughs> supposed to breed money okay they're supposed to breed money geniuses right there so uh yeah water and earth just money right there <laughs> them cappies and them cancers they're just gonna breed they're just gonna they're just gonna breed that money like just genius right there but anyways um yeah so look up your birth chart guys and see it, it can tell you a lot about yourself, why you've experienced some of the things that you've experienced in life, why you've maybe been attacked by some of the things that you've been attacked by. Maybe if you're working in a job and you're miserable, maybe you're not supposed to be in that job. Maybe you're not supposed to be in that job. You know, maybe, uh, maybe there's something better for you. Maybe you're supposed to be doing something else. Maybe you're being led to be doing something else and you're supposed to go somewhere else. Maybe you're supposed to be teaching somebody, you know, like, for example, you know, um, uh, let's, let's say, for example, um, Libras, Libras, Aquariuses, and Geminis. Let's take them for example, you know, they're into their intellects. They're all about the intellectual, the thoughts, you know, they're smart people. So think about that maybe they're supposed to be teachers you know scholars something like that and you know Tauruses Tauruses Virgos Tauruses Virgos and Capricorns they're supposed to work in the financial realm maybe you're supposed to be bankers you know 
stuff like that. Um, physicians, like, I don't know. Maybe they're supposed to be on TV in the reality realm. Maybe you're supposed to have your own YouTube channel. Who knows? Or talk show hosts. And like Aries, Leo, Sag. Creativity. Maybe you're supposed to be artists. Maybe you're supposed to be singing. Willpower. They're talking about willpower. Um, you know, maybe you're supposed to be creating something. You're Maybe you're supposed to be like building something. Maybe astronaut. Maybe physics physical physics or something i don't know who knows just think about that like and that can your birth chart can help you like guide your way and lead you to to where you're supposed to go or the people you're supposed to have or the people you're supposed to be around and the friends that you're supposed to have so yeah i'm a cancer i have a cancer sun my moon my moon is um aquarius and um I believe it said my uh, my Leo is in Mercury. And Mercury is in Leo. So, yeah. It tells you a lot. <laughs> a lot about your stuff. Um, my ascending sign is Sagittarius. So, that's why I get along really well with my cousin that is a Sagittarius. That's why we linked up. And I had never met this cousin before. The family reunion. And me and her just clicks so well she is one of my best friends I talk to her all the time and we don't even live anywhere by each other and she's like Kimmy that's why when I hugged you at the family reunion it just felt so warm and I just felt like I knew you forever when I hugged your mom it just felt so warm because my mom's had cancer too like that's why we link up so well because I never knew before like recently that my ascending sign was a Sagittarius I had no idea like look up your birth chart it just tells you so much about yourself I have Gemini in my chart and that's why me and my sister that's a Gemini that's why we you know relate so much together you know I have Leo in my chart my sister is a Leo like I said my Leo um I have my Mercury is in Leo so maybe that's why me and my one of my other sisters clash well, Leo's is Scorpio. That's maybe why we and my other sisters clash, you know. But I also have Libra in my chart. I have Libras in my family. Me and my other sister, that's a Libra. She's not really my sister, but we, we grew up together and our parents raised each other. So she is my sister. And we get along so well. And then I have a brother that's a, Leo, a Libra. And we get along um very well. Other times we clash, okay. <laughs> I dated a Libra and we did not get along very well, you know. So it's all about your vibration as well, where you're at in your life, where that other person's at in their life, where they're at mentally, where their vibration is, where their mindset is, you know, if they're in a positive state of mind, if they're all about money or if they're leading their life from their heart space and if they're leading their heart from love and if they have God in their life, where their soul is. If they're giving with love, if they're sharing with others with love, or if they're just worried about money, 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 you know, if they have a spiritual life, all of that is very important when you're, when you're thinking about love, when you're thinking about who you choose as a partner, who you choose as a mate, all of that is very, very important, very important. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was just telling my brother, oh, I have Libra in my chart. Well, I do have Libra in my chart. Maybe that's why I did, and I didn't know that. Maybe that's why I didn't get along with the Libra that I dated. Because <laughs> I had a high vibration. And he had a very low vibration. And he was always very negative. And I was always very positive. And Cancer is my son. Okay? Cancer is the sun. My video I recorded yesterday, I said, the sun, what do we think? The planets are in retrograde right now. And the sun doesn't go in retrograde. All the other planets go in retrograde, but the sun does not go in retrograde. The sun what? Always shines. <laughs> and I am always happy. And he was not. 
And I cannot be around people that are not happy. So that's why we did not get along. Okay? Because I'm never going to dim my light for anyone. So if you can't be happy, you cannot be around me. Because I can't be around nobody that's just negative. I need to be around people that are positive. You got to be happy. Like, who wants to be around somebody that's sad all the time or mad all the time? Waking up mad. How you gonna wake up mad when you just had eight or nine hours of sleep? Like, why are you waking up mad? Go back to sleep. Like, now, now, I have to admit, if I don't get enough sleep or if I haven't had a sleep, you know, us cancers, we could be cranky because we haven't had any sleep. We can have an attitude, though, because we haven't had any sleep, though. And we need to go to sleep. But you need to know that about yourself, though. But, yeah, I have a cancer son. So, yeah. So, anyways, enough of that. Enough of my rant. So, yeah, that's why they always say, go watch your ascending sign. If you don't, you know, get anything out of your own reading when planets are in retrograde, go watch your moon sign. Go watch your sun sign. Go watch your ascending sign. There may be messages in those other ones. My my uh, brother said, well, you you may have Libra in your chart, but you're not a Libra. He's a Libra. You may, you're not a Libra. That doesn't mean anything. I still get messages from the Libra reading sometimes. I still get messages from the Sagittarius readings sometimes yeah that do fully fully resonate with me in what i'm going through because again sag is my ascending sign okay yeah and the libra readings are exact and like libra may the libras may have me cancer as their sun sign and cancer is my son because I am the sun. <laughs> That's why I'm always happy. And people always say they love my laugh. And if people don't like my laugh, it's because they're, there's something wrong with them. Not me. I remember I left a job and I came back um, a long time ago when I used to work at a, a store. And I was at the front of the store and I had came back to visit my friends. And... Um, I was stopping at the different kiosks to see people, and when I got back to one to see my friend, she heard, she's like, I, oh my God, Kimmy, I miss you so much. I heard your laugh, and I was like, where is she? I hear her. <laughs> she said that she loved my laugh. So many people love my laugh. But then I hear other people's laughs, and I love their laughs just like people love my laugh. It's infectious. It's infectious. So there's just, you know, you vibrate and you gravitate towards people with the same vibration that you have, the same light that you have. And if there are people that are attacking you, there's something wrong with them. There ain't nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. And they need to get on your level. Okay? Remember that. Ain't nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. If there's somebody in a job attacking you, it's because they're jealous. Because they can't be you. And there's wounds that they need to heal. If there's a boss that's attacking you, it's because they don't want you to have their position. They see that you're loved. And maybe they didn't get that love. They see that your fam they that you had a family that loved you. You had a support system and maybe they didn't get that love from their parents. And they're jealous of it. You have friends around you that love you. You have people that want to love you. They they don't want they're jealous cuz they don't they're they're sca- they're threatened by you cuz you maybe could take their position. And they don't want you to take that position. So they may try to do stuff behind your back. Some of, us, some of us have gifts. We don't have to be in a room to know that people are talking bad about us. We don't got to be there 
to know people are, are saying bad stuff about us, but we know it's happening. We just know it's happening. If you think it or you have a feeling about it, it's probably happening. It's probably happening. You ever walk in a room and then it just gets like, you just feel the vibe change? <laughs> they probably was talking about you. They probably was. It's because they're hating at you. For no reason. Some people are just jealous for no reason. You don't even have to be doing anything but being you. Just being you. But just keep doing what you're doing. Don't let that control you. Keep shining your light. Do not let anyone or anything dim your light. And that's why you have to pray and meditate and ground yourself. Ground yourself. Every morning, do those things for yourself that you need to do to keep yourself grounded. There's going to be moments that come up where people try to rock you. Every day. They try to shake you because they know they can. They try to t- I get I try to get tested all the time. And once they know that they can rock you once, they're going to keep trying. Given there are going to be times where we just let it have it because they they knew that they had it coming to them. But don't let them know that they have that power over you. Mm -mm. But sometimes we don't care. We just let them have it because we wanted to let them have it. (laughs) And that's okay, too. That is okay, too. There may be a time where you like you're like you had it in your mind. Like, I ain't going back to this job. So I'm just going to be like, I'm going to tell them everything I want to tell them (laughs) about themselves because I don't care. (laughs) We've all seen them videos. <laughs> the videos where the person gets on the loudspeaker at like at a store or something and they just tell everybody's business and air it out. Air out the place. Just air it out. <laughs> I ain't gonna be that person, but <laughs> Ooh, we've all had it. We've all them days where you just you may have those moments in your family you may have those moments you know at the workplace uh because you know you ain't never coming back there again but you know you have to have those moments in the morning where or at night sometime during the day where you just chill out and ground yourself to protect yourself and pray that god keeps you (laughs) for the the evilness that's trying to come at you because the people will try you they will try you ground yourself y'all because they're, they're out here just some people are just out here just looking for people to attack i be on some some people's um lives and there's people just searching the web searching people's lives to go in and attack because of people's sexuality you know how evil that is that's not your concern that is their life that is their choice who are you you are not god what did jesus say let ye who is without sin cast the first stone and what did they all do drop them stones real quick so you cannot sit here and judge somebody Only God can judge them. Quit judging people. Quit judging people for what they choose to do with their lives. Because you are not God. Because as soon as you get in front of God, he's going to be like, "Mm, remember this time you judged this person? Remember this time you judged this person? Remember this time you judged this person? I was marking every single one of them down in a book. Every single one. I was sitting here. I had my angels down there like, "Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sitting there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tallying them. Tallying them. Remember this time you attacked this person? Remember this time you attacked this person? Remember when we was blocking this person from their blessing? Remember when you was talking about Mem- every single time. Every single time. Stop 
attacking people and stop judging people. It is not your place to judge them for living their life the way they want to live their life. So, yeah. Those are my messages. I'm at 25 minutes real quick. I just wanted to give somebody some encouragement today. <sighs> okay. Well, if you like this video, I hope somebody found some... Um, some goodness out of this i'm gonna come back in a second here um i think i'm gonna run to the restroom maybe oh no i can't use the restroom at the park that's just nasty i can't do it um but yeah i gotta wrap this video up and post it real quick um if you uh like this video please share this video this is kimmy to g um please subscribe to my youtube channel as always my um goal is to reach 25,000 or 20,000 oh 20,000, 21 subscribers in likes, shares, and follows by the end of 2021. I am your light worker out here working my lights, okay? Um, by the end of 2021, um, I'm calling all light workers out here because we need you and the world needs healing, okay? I'm out here just speaking my story, speaking my truth um, against uh, mental awareness, mental health, because we need healing and um, talking against everything mental health mental awareness domestic violence all that okay and encouraging people to go after their dreams and goals in life like share subscribe follow comment in the sections what you want to hear about what you want to talk about all of that um, please follow me on twitter please follow me on youtube please follow me on instagram please follow me on facebook i need to get back up and just reactivate my facebook so y'all can join my facebook group um but i'm gonna get my i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my youtube platform up to where i want my youtube platform up and then once i do that i will reactivate my facebook that's what i'm gonna set my goal as once i hit my goal on my YouTube platform, I will make it a point to reactivate my Facebook. Until then, I'm going to leave it dormant. So, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, and, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all my platforms. That's all my platforms right now. TikTok, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram yeah follow me on all those platforms guys and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching as always and um, I hope you all have a wonderful day bye